I recently picked up a 7 inch mini laptop from AliExpress. Long story short, best course of action to fix some of the issues is to reinstall Windows. And I decided I'm just going to take the old SSD out and replace it with a larger one that I have. This was my plan originally anyways, that's why I bought the cheapest one. So the good thing about this is it has a little door for accessing the SSD. You just remove this Phillips screw here. I bought a 128, but they gave me a 256, which is good, but we will save this for later. Just remove this little mounting screw. Make sure that we don't lose it. Just come out like this. And now a few moments later. That one was a little pain to get out. It's pretty tight. My finger is a little bigger than I guess what they planned. So this is its replacement. So I went from a 256 to a 512. As I said, I was originally just going to get the 128 and put this one in there. It said on the spec sheet that it's a 2848 SSD. So I'll be right back. A few moments later. This is the new King spec drive that I have. Just put it in, secure the screw. Since we have this, we might as well just crack it open and see what's inside. So you just take out the five screws that are on the outside. They are a little, I believe it's a number four star. That sixth screw, I'm gonna guess is under this quality control sticker. Yeah, let's just take that off. We don't, we're not gonna need that anymore. Let's pop that out. And then I gotta figure out how we're gonna open it. So I'm gonna try and use these guitar pick prying tools. If the bottom's all metal, probably pops out through the keyboard here. So I'm just gonna try that. They seem to be getting, getting somewhere. So we're gonna try a couple more to separate it. You can kind of see that there's some plastic clips that run along the edge of it. We just have to kind of pop those out. Attach the keyboard frame. And once it releases, we're just gonna kind of flop it over. And there we go. So this thing is pretty solid. It's it's definitely a sturdy aluminum, sturdy metal of some, some kind. Still surprised at how solid this base is. There's a double-sided sticky pad that looks like it's off-center. I'll fix that before I close it up. It has a 3000 milliamp hour battery. Looks like you can charge it. It runs at 7.6 volts. So then you also got the SSD, you got that cooling fan, all the ports, power supply, SD card, USB ports, audio jack. Over here on the left, you also have the this LB Link chip, I believe is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip, or as people call it, Bluetooth. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop off this big aluminum plate. I'm assuming this is a, for cooling the CPU. So let's see what's underneath this. These actually take just standard Phillips screws, which is pretty nice. Just pop these off and I'm wondering if there's some sort of heat pipe system or something probably not but you, ne you never know maybe there's some way of transferring the heat from the cooling block but uh, let's see what happens so we're just gonna pry this off and there's actually two of them there's two paint two sheets of aluminum kind of sandwiched together we one of them is held on with tape just to place it so we're gonna flip this over and we have the CPU this is the little celeron that's is apparently going to be baking because there's not much to cool it other than these aluminum <laughs> this aluminum sheet sandwich okay i'm gonna put these back together i just wanted to take a peek under the hood to see what was under this thing i'm not going to tear it completely apart because i do want to use it and i will break things so now if it decides to take a take a dive later on then you know we'll see so i don't see anything that's easily upgradable Except for maybe that cooling fan. No, no upgradable RAM. The battery looks replaceable. Or maybe one of you smarter people out there can modify it, make it larger. That'd be a useful mod for this. And wait, what is this? So I got a message from one of you great viewers who actually has one of these about there actually being a USB-C port on this device. And this is it apparently right here. 
I plugged this mystery USB-C into a little USB hub I have and it powered it on no problem. I also threw a USB jump drive into it just to see what would happen, see if we could read the data. And as soon as I plugged it in, Windows registered it. It doesn't work as a power delivery. I tried very quickly to put a plug into it and nothing was happening. It wasn't registering as powering the unit. So I pulled that out real quick. So, okay, that's enough for that. I'm gonna put it back together. While you're snapping this back together, make sure to give a little more attention down over towards the back of it, especially where you have that the mini HDMI port and that back USB plug. You wanna make sure that they're lined up appropriately. Kinda of hear it snapping back together. And then I just decided to throw the screws back in. I like the size. I think it has so many good qualities. I mean, I know it's cost cutting, so I'm assuming that's why it is what it is, but it is a fun device. Hopefully this was at least enjoyable. Try and make it fun. If you like this, let me know. Leave a comment below. Until next time. Bye.